that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Theater of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be transforming an old entertainment center that was thrown away and I rescued this a very long time ago and never had the chance to work on it because I already have an entertainment center in my bedroom and another idea totally different for my living room. So I'm just going to work on this one for a friend of mine who said she has something similar and she would like to know how to glam it up. I'll be using canvas panel that I have at home for the doors. I'm also going to be making a drawer in the middle, but I'll be using a plastic board. The canvas panel I'm using does not cover up the entire space, so I'm going to use the third extra panel that I have to make it longer. I'll be using mirror reflective paper and flexible mirror sheets to cover up this part. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and make a shelf and I'll be using a hard styrofoam board with a foam board. I'll cover the top with this contact paper. The side here will be covered with flexible mirrors. I spray painted the board silver. Now I'm going to be covering it up with Mod Podge and sprinkling crushed mirror glass all over it and I'll wait for some hours for it to dry. When I was done, I waited for some hours for it to dry. Now this is not completely dry, but I'm going to go ahead and add the hinges to the doors. 
it is dry enough for me to continue working on it. So I'm just going to do this. And when I'm done, I'm going to leave it for a few hours to completely dry. I'll be attaching them with the screws that came with them. I forgot to mention that I added another thick layer of Mod Podge over the cashmere glass and I don't know what happened to that clip but I did add another layer just to make it okay for touching. I'll attach hinges for the other door as well. I'll be using these crystal knobs on the doors and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. After I was done with this, I decided much later to add mirror borders around the doors and then attached it to the entertainment center. Now after I put a shelf here, I decided to go ahead and make a drawer at the bottom and I'm going to be making the drawers with foam boards. The front of the drawer was also decorated with crushed mirror glass. I'm locating the middle so that I can attach the knob there. The white patches on the board shows that it's not completely dry. This is okay to touch, but after some few hours, it will completely dry and the white patches will not be there anymore. The board that I used for the drawer is not a foam board. It is a plastic corrugated sheet that I got from Michaels. And this is a leftover from another project. I made sure that everything I used for this project were things that I already have at home. I'll be gluing on the front and the body of the drawer together with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. I also added mirror borders around the drawer. Now this was done much later. After everything was done, I took off the protective films from all of the mirror reflective paper and the flexible mirror sheets. And this is what the entertainment center looks like now. Like I said earlier, a friend of mine has this exact entertainment center and wanted to know how to glam it up. So this hopefully will help her out. Here are some before and after pictures of the entertainment center. Now, if you're interested in another type of entertainment center that you can install in your home, I made something totally different for my bedroom. And this is a little clip of what it looks like. Now, if you want to know how to achieve this look, I have a link for this video down in the description box below. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 